Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. I've been away for a while and this had everything to do with, uh, with my face. I've had an operation on my face, uh, on my mouth and uh, well, they had to get me a whole lot of false teeth because of an infection I had. So uh, my face looked terrible for a while and that's why I didn't make videos. Now everything is good again, so well, let's dive into what we can do with AstroPrint. So this video is all about AstroPrint and AstroPrint is really uh, a combination of uh, things. It's a, a software version that you can install on a Raspberry Pi or on an AstroBox. You can buy an AstroBox and then it's already installed there for you. Um, and it's cloud-based but it, it also runs on that computer and I'll show you that later. Um, and also, uh, it's a very good tool if you are having a printer that needs a host to print. So, for example, behind me there is my HyperTower. Uh, the HyperTower are two Hypercube printers in one frame. So, I have uh, a bottom printer here and I have a top printer over there. And uh, this is a great printer. I really love it. It's two printers in one frame. And, uh, well, I needed something to control these printers, because as I build it, uh, there is no way to, uh, to, to, to let to do the printer uh, an autonomous job. Uh, I think my pronunciation is not very good, but what I mean to say with it is I can't get a SD card, bring it into the printer and then print from that SD card. So, because I can't, I have to use my computer, which is connected to the machine, uh, as a host. And therefore I can use my slicer software, like Simplify 3D, or I can use Repetje Host, or something like that, because I need a host program that sends the G-code to that printer. Now, if you do a long print, like for example a 20-hour print, then it's very unlikely you want to have that host uh, running all the time because this is your computer. And uh, if you're away from home, I want to have my computer turned off. So uh, this is what I do. Now, because your printer has to be connected to some kind of computer, you can get a very cheap computer for it. And this cheap computer is called the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a very simple and very cheap computer that you can buy and that you can uh, use to install the software from AstroPrint. And my Raspberry Pi is actually built in here in my Hypercube. So I have a Raspberry Pi which is built in. And uh, this gives me great options because when uh, I now go to uh, my AstroPrint on the Raspberry Pi, I can control my printer and even more so uh, here you can see there is a phone connected to my printer here and it's just an old mobile phone I had laying around but I can control the complete printer from that mobile phone or from a tablet or whatever you like so this is a far better display than any other display you can think of the only downside of this display is that there is no possibility for me to insert an SD card and print directly from that SD card. But as you will see further on in this video, this is no problem at all. Now, here I've got my uh, dashboard and uh, with this dashboard uh, I'm connected to the AstroPrint website. And as you can see here, I'm now in cloud.astroprint.com and what this is, well, basically if you install the AstroPrint software on your Raspberry Pi, then you also make an account on AstroPrint uh, on their cloud service. And this means that you can connect to their cloud service, not to your uh, Raspberry Pi, but to their cloud service, and run a whole lot of things from there. So uh, you can do this with almost any computer, you can do this with your phone, your tablet, whatever. And this means that it gives you a lot of opportunities, as I will show you later. Also, you can connect to the software which is inside your Raspberry Pi. So if I want to, I can click monitor here. Now I'm going to connect with my 
uh, Hypercube, which is directly in my Raspberry Pi. And now I have my controls here. So this is really on my uh, Hypercube, while this here is on my uh, on my cloud account on AstroPrint. There is also a possibility to go directly to uh, sorry one six eight dot one seven eight dot one oh one enter directly into uh, my Hypercube. So I can now connect directly to the software inside my uh, my Raspberry Pi. So as you see, here I am connected to the cloud version, so I'm in their server. And here I'm connected to my version, which is the version which is installed on my Raspberry Pi. Now, while being here, there are way more options than when I'm here, because those are the options that are running directly from my machine. And I'll show you what those are. I have a file uploader where I can upload STL files or G-code files or whatever. And yes, I said STL files, because you can upload your STL file here and slice it. And when you want to slice it, then you go to the slicer, but that slicer is Cura and it's running on their side. So you have to upload your files here and you can slice them online at their Cura server. Now, there is also a file manager and this file manager shows me everything that I've been printing directly from my uh, Raspberry Pi. So those are the files I've been printing uh, from winning my Raspberry Pi. Also there are the controls. So here are the controls to control my printer. So if I want my bed to, to move, well, I just give the comments here and as you can see my bed here is moving. So I have the direct controls over my printer here in this software. The fun thing is that I've also got the direct controls for, uh, well where is it, here you see my phone and the phone is connected to my uh, printer so I have a display where I have exactly those same controls. Um, I have a camera, well there is no camera attached at this moment but if there is and it can be a simple Logitech camera for example that you can just plug in into your uh, Raspberry Pi and then you have a camera connected inside your printer. Uh, then we have the settings, well the settings are uh, what kind of uh, connection you have and there are some other settings as well but you have to set them in your cloud but I'm going to show you later. Uh, you have a G-code terminal where you can just enter G-code and then it will perform whatever you type as G-code here. Uh, it has a help section and it has supplies. Well this is just a shop where you can go and then you can buy things. Now when we go to the online version of AstroPrint, so I'm not inside my, my own uh, installed version on my Raspberry Pi anymore. Now we have a design uploader and this is a little bit more than what we saw here where we have a file uploader because this is a design uploader. So here I can upload my STL files and when I do so I can slice them with settings and those settings I have control over. So uh, here is my file manager. Well this is actually the same file manager only this is not the file manager that is uh, fed by the, the files that are in my Raspberry Pi but those are the files that were online. So I've been slicing these files with their slicer while the files that were there uh, also came from my uh, Simplify 3D for example where I sliced it myself. So there are two versions, there are two bins where you save your files. If you have sliced them with their online service, then this is the file server you have to look at. And when you've uploaded them to your Raspberry Pi, then on the other side, you go to the file manager here, which is the file manager of your Raspberry Pi. So this is a bit tricky to, to understand, but it's actually not that difficult. Uh, then you can launch Thingiverse here, which is really great. And uh, 
here you can see all the things on Thingiverse and you can also search for files. So here you can say, for example, I have the Hypercube. Well, let me search for the Hypercube things. I can click on it and then here I see all the things that I have for the Hypercube printer. And now if I want to print, for example, this spool axle clamp, then I just go here, type print and it will be uh, imported in my, uh, my, my printer and it will print. So, really great settings. Now, oh, let me go back. Um, here we have the monitor function. The monitor function brings me to my printer. So it brings me directly to the printer which I have. And here I say, can say launch Hypercube. And then I'm inside my Hypercube, which I was also when I typed in the direct address for it. So I will go back and see what happens. Uh, I have to go back here, I think. Yes. Then there is a print queue. Well, this print queue, this is brand new and this is only for the paid version. Uh, so if you have a paid version of AstroPrint, then you can use the print queue. And uh, well, I don't use it because I don't have the paid version, but maybe I will do so in the future. So I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I will do so in the future and then I can tell you what the print queue exactly is. Uh, then there are the print captures. Well, if you have a camera installed in your printer, which I don't, uh, then you can find the recordings of those cameras here in your print captures. Then there is the 3D print cloud. This is a cloud-based version uh, where you can, uh, you can model things, you can create things, you can uh, analyze your models, you can see where, where things go wrong in your models. Uh, for example, if they're non-manifold files, then you can repair them here. Uh, that kind of things you can do from the 3D print cloud. So it's basically there for repairing your model which you created if something goes wrong. Then there is the print history. This shows you what print is made on what day, uh, what time and so on and so on. And it also tells you what's the size of your print. So here you can find your prints back and uh, well you can see how much material you've used for example. Then there is the slicer settings and those are three settings and I'll show you if the slicer settings, the printer profile and the material profile. These settings in the slicer settings are your Cura engine settings because they have a Cura server running and here you can set your Cura settings. Those are the global settings for Cura and those don't contain the printer settings because you have to set them here. So what's the size of your print bed? Uh, what is the maximum temperature of your nozzle? What's the maximum temperature of your print bed? All that kind of things you set in your printing profile. And you can have two printers on the free version and you can have more printers on the paid version. And then there is the material profile. And in this material profile you can set uh, different settings for, for example, PLA, ABS, PATG, Engine, and, well, name them all. So here you can have your material settings and you can use those settings if you go and slice your, your file, uh, then you can tell the slicer what printer you are using and what material you are using. And those combination of, of uh, things will be incorporated in the slicer settings and then your slicer will work with those settings. So there are three parts of the settings you will use. And this is very handy, for example, if you have two printers, uh, then you can use the same settings for your other printer. So this is very handy. Then you have the global settings. The global settings you can see over here. Those are the settings for your account here on AstroPrint. And then you have uh, Leopoly. Well, Leopoly, uh, some people like it, I don't. Uh, but this has something to do with the way you're working with your, uh, with your printer. Uh, this is a kind of sculpting, so it takes a while to load. The fun thing is that this is server-side include, so uh, it's not running on my computer, it's running on their computer. And uh, therefore it's very fast. Now, and now I can create something here. And well, you can all decide what it is. It's a long nose because I'm also going to dry, uh, to, to, to draw the eyes here. 
and now you can see it's a very funny long nose with two eyes so it's a head you were thinking something else weren't you well this is what Leo Poly is yeah you have to like it uh, I don't and uh, I have to go back here and then there is 3d slash well actually 3d slash uh, it's here to, to start a new model. So you can start from a classic model like building blocks. You can start with an empty printing face. Uh, you can import an STL file. You can uh, start from a logo or from text. I never used it because uh, I'm using uh, other software to create my files. But it's here and you have it. And then there is my mini factory just like Thingiverse. Uh, this is a great source for files if you want to download things and just print them So here you can see things like well, for example this I like and Then I can say well, I want to print this file you click on the print button and then you get into the settings of your printer so really I think that the Astro print is a great uh, you know, great way of operating your printer because if I start a print now from uh, from Astro Print, so I, I'll choose a file, I'll send it to my printer, and I use Astro Print for it, then I can turn off my computer because the Raspberry Pi is the is the host for the printer. It's sending its data to the printer, and uh, well, it just works. Uh, I can leave the printer on with the Raspberry Pi inside. Uh, I can turn all the rest off and there I have it my printer is working I can leave the house and when I come back my print is done or maybe the other day it's done so this is what Astro Print is some people like OctoPrint more OctoPrint is, is kind of the same but it's more difficult so this is very simple it's very simple to install also if you don't want to install it well you can buy an Astro Box which is basically uh, everything pre-installed already for you so you can just connect it to your printer and it works uh, so you don't have to to, yeah, to, to hassle around with your uh, Raspberry Pi that you have to configure and you don't have to do all the things which isn't really difficult you can find everything on the internet how to do it but well if you don't want to have that hassle just buy an Astro Box because everything is done for you already so this is it. It's very, very simple software. It's, it's easy to use. I'll go back to the big camera here. And, uh, well, I think uh, if you have a printer that needs a host to work, like your computer, like something else, then go for Astro Print because it's, it's very simple. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope you give it a like. I hope you subscribe to my channel if you're not. Uh, I've passed 2000 subscribers uh, lately, so I'm very happy about that as well. And, uh, well, guys, I'll see you around next week because uh, now my face is again, uh, is okay again. Uh, I can make videos more often and uh, I'm going to do that once a week again. So, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please click that like button and I'll see you around next week. Bye bye!